up guys uh, back in here tonight at the beaver lake uh, tonight is Thursday the day after that uh, last video where I gave you the update showing that the beavers plugged those two spots that I broke open I'm gonna go and open up one more spot get some uh, water running out of this dam so gets the beavers attention and hopefully brings them in closer to us got Tim with me tonight he went to the other side to open up a spot I don't know if you can see him over there I'm gonna go right back to one of my spots I opened up a few days ago get some water running and hopefully get one of these beavers to come in All right, got that side opened up. Tim's over here still working on his. Get some noise going. And we'll get set up here and wait on these beaver to come out. Got Tim here working on another one. Wind's perfect right now. Is it? Yeah. For the next 10 seconds. <laughs> it's all clay. Yeah, I know. It's so hard to get out of there. All right, guys, we got a beaver out here. It's about 190 yards out, probably. Um, watching it on the, the big camera here. Let's see if you guys can see it here. So you want to see us plug the holes? I just want to kill the thing. Yeah, I thought that was a little bit farther. Or that tree out there. Anyway. It's a pretty big knob. In. In what? It's a pretty big beaver. Yeah, it is. It's coming this way. Yeah, barely. A big old stick. It's a good size beaver. Yeah. Is it 169 to him? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna just sit here tight and hold our spot. We got a pretty good spot here tonight, right on the dam. Open up those spots that we showed you earlier and uh, just gonna set tight and hope he comes this way. All right guys, so the wind shifted directions on us. It's uh, floating right across the, the entire lake. We're gonna set up on this uh, west side. It's gonna be after dark by the time we get set up, but we'll come back and hopefully catch one. Come to check these spots that we opened up. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can see this with the GoPro, but I just shot one from probably 180 yards, 175 maybe. Uh, Tim was holding the light, and uh, we're just on the recovery mission right now. Yeah. Hopefully, he was a heck of a shot. <laughs> it's hard to spot it across that pond. Yeah, uh, couldn't get a good video on it with a good camera. So far away with being dark, but. Thanks. Wow. All right, guys. All right, there he is. Wow. What a shot. That was from way over there. Where yeah. that beaver sits over there. We ranged it earlier, and this is probably right at 180, probably. Yeah, yeah 180, 175, probably. Yeah, so. Wow. Nice he shot. was just over here cruising in these lily pads. Incredible. 
He's not huge, but no, not the biggest one we've killed, but no. we're definitely putting a. It's a decent size. Yeah, he was like this on the. He was laying like that. Did that shot probably hit him right there? Yep. Yeah, like I told Tim earlier, right behind the ear, hopefully. Yep. Ear, right here. Yeah. Right in, probably the heart, <laughs> right through the heart. Yeah. <laughs> heart, lungs, for sure. You tell Smack maybe once or twice. Yeah. I thought he swam away, but he was just yeah. flopping right here. Yeah, he's just eating these lily pads, and we'll put him on the scale real quick, see yeah. what he weighs. Definitely not the biggest one we killed. Yeah, tiny, tiny little head of the person yeah. that we saw earlier. The other one we watched tonight looked like a brown bear swimming through the water. <laughs> yeah. Tim and I have killed a 43 pounder. This one's just just shy of 30. Decent sized beaver, but like we said, not one of the biggest. We're just in here to help this neighbor lady out and then some out of this lake. 30 pounds, beaver meat. We left for just maybe 10 minutes tonight, 20 minutes probably and came back and one of those spots that we opened up was already blocked back up with some sticks and some mud. You guys stay tuned and yeah. uh, hopefully we'll be back to bring you guys some good footage. So, yeah. Happy hunting. Be happy. safe guys. See ya. Get one more.